So this is the latest HyperOS from Xiaomi.eu that I have installed on my Poco F4. In this video, we will see all its new features, its performance, battery backup, and also learn how to install it towards the end of the video. So first of all, you can check out that in the About section. Uh, this is running on the latest Android 14, and the version of HyperOS is 1.0. So all of this talk, uh, the global MIUI, we have support for super folders and a lot of widgets and uh, not as extensive as the China version, but uh, these do get the job done. And the biggest change here is this uh, uh, lock screen style that we get to see in this HyperOS. So you just lock press on the lock screen, then just unlock your phone and you can see we have a lot of default ones that you can just simply click and apply. But if you want to, you can also uh, use your own wallpaper and then also get this cool looking depth effects for example uh, this is how it looks with and without the depth depth effect and you can change the wallpaper to anything of your choice we have some default ones and uh, you can check out the clock goes behind it and this is some of the variations you also get the support for the always on display in the similar manner now the new thing i have noticed is this interconnectivity so you have another uh, the other uh, Xiaomi devices is going to connect to that quite seamlessly and I've already shown you these customization options and the, in the always on display uh, we have the regular options but I do feel some of the stutters here and there in the UI I am using the device on the 120Hz and uh, it also had these AI subtitles and AI features but they do not work here um, now I'm going to the this is the quick settings we get this new media playback widgets and these are all the quick setting, uh, the quick toggles that we see for the dark mode and the performance mode. Now in the gallery, there is a, a create option that we also have in the latest MIUI update. So you can uh, create the bokeh and depth effect. So if you want to delete the foreground or the background or have that blur effect, you can do that using the AI. So this is cool and uh, um, now we do not need to use any third party applications to achieve this and now i've also checked it for the safety net and it is uh, all is passing by default we also have the google play store showing up as certified which is really important and uh, i also tried the pays app and it seems to be opening but since the blue bootloader is still unlocked it's not going to work on this device uh, so we also have the stock miui camera uh, which works quite well all, the, all of the lenses and all the extra features they work without any issues and the photos comes out really great no complaints there um, now coming to the performance on the Antutu benchmark is performing quite well above 7 lakh score uh, which wasn't the case on the um, stock MIUI and also without any performance mode so that is good the battery backup isn't that impressive it's about uh, 5 hours to 6 hours on heavy usage and also with the 120Hz always on so yeah, the performance has been good, but there are some stutters in the UI itself, not on the third party. So no problem there, but yes, maybe in future it's going to get even better. You can check out the app opening speed and the animations. It's quite smooth. And even if you open the application for the first time, it opens up fast. And after that, you're done that, you can check out how quickly it transitions between the apps. So no problem, similar to UI, uh, the performance is quite good. So let me show you a quick, uh, bgmi benchmark and I, I wasn't able to get the fps meter working but i'm running it on hd and extreme and of course we also have support for the game turbo mode uh, but uh, the fps meter does not uh, stay like constant on the screen but you can check out over here and also have all the tools uh, if you want to use it while gaming
now let's move on to the installation part so first of all right now i'm on the paranoid android rom so power off your device and remove any kind of screen lock if you have now press the power button and the volume down button and it's going to go into the fast boot mode now connect it to your pc using the cable now on your computer we will first download the xiaomi mi flash tool second we will download the xiaomi.eu hypervise file so just go to the hypervise table releases and select the version 1.0 now select your device for the POCO F4 it is the munch so just click on it and download the uh, ROM file now extract both the Xiaomi uh, Mi Flash tool and the ROM now in the Mi Flash tool just open up the Mi Flash.exe file uh, now you see your device here but if not just click on the driver and it will prompt you to install the driver so just do that and after that you will see your device in the fast boot mode right here now we will go to the ROM file that we have extracted now in this folder you need to select the last second last which is the fast boot first install with uh, data uh, just double click on it and it might show you this protected screen but uh, click on show more and run it anyway now it is going to ask for your confirmation so just uh, type y and then enter and now it's going to st start the flashing and installation process so uh, give it uh, do not touch your phone and uh, disconnect it from your device just let it run it's gonna take a long time and you can see it is now erasing the user data which is the final process now you can notice your phone uh, is booting up and you can see the new Xiaomi HyperOS logo so now wait for it to boot now we are in the screen now set up your phone and just start using the hyperos and let me know how it all went for you in the comments and if you have any questions uh, let me know in the comments that as well so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one